Gosh, I haven't streamed this. <laughs> I haven't streamed in this many days in a row in a long time. I think this is the most... This is actually the most days in a row that I actually have streamed ever. So, feels nice though. So, thank you all for coming by. Happy uh, Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday, my dudes. Yep, it is Wednesday. And yeah, um, as you can see from the overlay here, I did get snowed on today. So, I was a bit snowed in. But I spent a bit of time, you know, clearing out the driveway and, you know, building a few snowmen because that's what I like to do. So we have this like little ubu snowman and I also built like a little, um, a little snow gang is what I'm calling them, these guys here. It's going to be massive for a second, so bear with me. Alright, let me, uh, resize this. Yeah, these guys too. All, the, all these all these cute snow fellas that I have brought to life today on this blessed snow day. Yeah, uh, hope everyone's doing well. Um, tonight we are going to be playing a bit more Ghost Trick. I know this isn't particularly my, um, I guess my most viewed playthrough, but I know a few people have been following along, so... And I, I also really like the game too, so I'm, I'm going to be playing this and streaming this to completion, so... Don't worry about me dropping the playthrough or anything, it's... I play what I want to play. I stream what I want to stream. Regardless of anything, I don't. I don't fucking. I don't give a shit about viewer numbers. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's get started here. Let's see if the capture is working today. I think Twitch was having a few issues earlier, so hopefully those have been resolved. There we go. Alright, there we go. Okie dokie. So, more ghost trick. Hey, what's up, Twebs? How you doing? So last time in ghost trick, uh, we helped this Detective Jode break out of prison, but subsequently he sort of got, you know, captured by Detective Cabanilla, the, uh, the swanky white-suited detective. You know, so... At this point, I think we're trying to, uh, I think, I think Jode, because he knows how the whole ghost trick thing works now. He told us to go what? talk to the justice minister, and I think Lin's over there, and something has happened there that is not particularly good. So, we gotta hand over and see what's going on. Detective Jode, J-O-W-D. Not that my assignment to stop the execution has ended in such an unsatisfactory, an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lin at the Justice Minister's office. Oh, he's got like suits of armor too. Detective Joad's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Oh, let me turn the volume down on my side. Give me a second. There we go. Should I tell Lin about it? I just don't know. So this is a nice office. He has like little ornamental plates and such. Lin's, Lin's doing something behind the desk. That's a bit suspicious. And there's something that seems to have fallen over to the left here. Is that like a picture or something? Hey, what's up, Keo? How you doing? Yeah, thanks everyone, thanks everyone for stopping by. Thank you. This time, Lin isn't dead. But the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Right. So, okay, so what is happening here? Well, someone's dead down there. Uh, let me see what Sissel has uh, to say here. I'm glad Lynn isn't dead, but what in the world is she doing? Then again, do I really want to know? With Lin, it's always uh, it's always trouble with Lin. It seems like, so we're gonna be taking a look here. So someone's dead behind the counter. Is this the Justice Minister? Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. At least in spirit. 
Hey, there you are! What kind of greeting is that? And shoving somebody's poor soul out of the way just like that? Tsk, tsk. I gotta say, though. No matter where you go, somebody always seems to turn up dead. Sorry about that. Who is it this time? Is this the Justice Minister? Yeah, the man, who's, the man who signed the order to carry out Detective Joad's execution. He was already dead when I got here? Oh boy. I wonder what happened this time. Hey, and Docs, how you doing? And Little Bun, thanks for the host. Thank you. Oh, let me get a shout out for you. Well, and how did they go? Was Detective Joad still alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... He did? Oh, I'm so glad. Wait a minute, did, did you say but? With one T, not two? Hey, little bun, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. About that other murder, though? I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Joad? I can't believe it! Inspector Cabanella would never bet betray, bet betray, yes. W would, would never betray Detective Joad. Just so you know, uh, Detective Joad himself said it was the right thing to do. Oh, thank you for the 75 bits, by the way, Kyo. Thank you. Anyways... I better take care of Justice Minister here. Right, and I have lots of questions for him, too. Back we go then, to four minutes before his death. Alrighty. So, if I recall correctly, this dude was like the uptight Justice Minister man who, you know... I think was having a beef with his wife back when we were in Lin's apartment. We sort of like crossed over the wall. Hey Nick, how you doing? Yeah, he, he is definitely uptight. <laughs> okay. Is this guy gonna have a heart attack or something? Jeez. Yeah, I calm down. I'll do as you say. Is that blackmail, maybe? Hey, what's up, Shu? He is very posh, yeah. His office has like armor too, like suits of armor. Over to the right. So is this guy, is this guy gonna die from like a heart attack or something else? Cause I, I feel like it's gonna be a heart attack here. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Uh. Oh, yep, there we go. Heart attack. Come on, you're messing, man. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Okay, so two things that would have prevented this, or at least stalled it, have been dropped off the table here. So he's just dead, right? Yep, he's dead. Rip. Did I mean to put in the Ducks Cord Ghost Brick? Yeah, I did. I definitely did, Shu. Such a foolish man. Oh, you uh, woke up? He's a uh, contradiction. The uh, contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. I, I don't think you realize that, uh, that that guy's you, you know? So, um, maybe get that into your head first before you go criticizing him. How about that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like 
You could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. He's such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say, a uh, pathetic man. That's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it just yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? What do you think, right? Is this like the tutorial case in the game or something? <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. Sidestep that one, didn't he? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have this guy talking behind our back, it seems, while we're trying to revive him. Unwittingly. Okay, dokie. So, let's see what we have to do here. So we have two rooms of space here. Uh, what do you gotta say, Sissel? No need to think too hard about this one. All I have to do is get his mess into him. Pretty simple. But, there's one more thing that concerns me. What was that telephone call the Justice Minister got all about? It was right after his health took a, an instant down... It was right after that, that his health took an instant downturn. I... I uh, is that and that afterwards, like, correct grammar, technically? Because I don't think it is. I always avoid typing that when I'm writing stuff. Tisk. I've never seen such a foolish, pathetic, and strange man. Uh, I think you'd better stop there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... We might wanna... Shit. Yeah, we might wanna listen on these phone calls here. It is correct, Natalie? Interesting. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How'd you get this phone number? We have your daughter. Wh who is this? A mu- Emily's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? Uh, no. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? <laughs> yeah, we still have to figure out what these, what, what's up with these like blue skin people, honestly. But it seems like they're all the villains in this game, which is interesting. My daughter! Is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Peer for yourself. Huh. Jeez. So... I mean, if, if I recall correctly, her daughter was like, sick? Sick in bed or something? So maybe she escaped? Perhaps? What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I, I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yeah, of course, yep. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Ah. And of course it goes without saying, we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that? Don't tell the police. Is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Alright, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. I've, I've got my timid voice on for him now. Always watching, Justice Minister. Always watching. Yep. And what's up, Manic? How you doing? Uh, let's head over there. Let's maybe get some more intel, maybe? I don't know if it's gonna help anything over here, but we'll see. Wait. I see someone's doing secret honks. Of course. So this is... a room? Huh. 
Apparently, the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea of tonight's world. Tonight's. Uh, I know word. I know. Uh, uh, my gosh. I feel like this stuttering is because of the cold. I I, I was facing earlier because I did I did go outside. Yeah, to shovel the snow, and I made those little snowmen with my bare hands. So that kind of fucked me up a bit. But don't worry, I'm all warm now, mostly. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had leaked. Oh, it was a, uh, it was a recording, what? Yeah, it was, it was definitely a recording, yep. Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. But what's taking a good so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Okay. Um. So we're, yeah, we're, we're stuck here, so that... Obviously, that wasn't a good idea, and it looks like the place we're in seems pretty familiar, right? I mean, weren't those, uh... Weren't these little doll things the same thing that were in the... The basement of that little contra- Like, the contraption in the basement of the, uh... Building in the junkyard? It looks very familiar. But we're stuck, so I think we're gonna have to revert here. There we go. I was actually debating making more snowmen in the driveway, but my hands were fucking... My hands were freezing to the point where, like, it started to hurt, like, burn a bit, which is very concerning. So, I had to hold on. I had to go in and just, like, douse my hands in hot water. I need some gloves. Well, I mean, sculpting, sculpting. You can't, you can't sculpt the snowballs well without, uh, without, with gloves on. You need that fine-tuned uh, finger movement, you know. Especially if snowball is that small, too. Okay, so let's skip this conversation. That's why I don't touch snow. Yeah. I mean, I had, I had to, I had to build those uh, small snowmen. It was my duty. Okay, so I'll stay here. <laughs> Chat, really. <laughs> the kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what that word means, but it's apparently the cause of this minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyways, we only have four minutes here, so I better do something about that medicine. Alright. So, we've heard that dialogue again. So, I mean, how do we get the medicine, you know, a bit more firmly in front of him? Either that or the water. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks, huh? If I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now, but unfortunately I can't even open the cap. I, I guess those child safety seals uh, also work against ghosts, huh? What a shabby excuse for a man. Ah! He wears his important looking un uniform and sits working at his, state at his uh, stately desk. But what does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable, shabby excuse for a man. I think you've already said quite enough. So about the water here. If only he could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks this pitcher to the floor at the end of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Come on. Is this is this guy just is this guy really this judgmental about people? 
Seems a bit selfish, to be honest. Ah! Once water is spilled, there is no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitchers? I don't know. Well, I mean, I can't say it's self-hatred because he he's lost his memory, so he can't exactly, you know, he doesn't know that it's himself yet, unfortunately. I don't know. Those who, not, who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Okay. So I think we have to wait for the next phone call here. Okay, so there's his first outburst. Can I do anything else here? Uh, can I do something with the flag? I wonder if this flag is like strong enough to like knock the water over here to the right. Of course, there's stuff over here too, which I could be interacting with as well. There's his attack. Um, let's see. What's this all to say? Uh oh, here it comes. His worried anxiety have reached their peak. Oh, such a disgraceful man. Huh? If one lives his life in the fits, in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up now. Okay. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. So I guess it skipped over the first phone call in the exchange here, so... What could we do, though? I don't know. Oh, so we... Oh, yeah, yeah. So we do get knocked over here. Interesting. So this is the, uh... This is the whole sort of sequence we have to complete here, I think. Okay, Nightbot, I turned off that command, so I don't know why you keep repeating the uh, the cave story thing. Come on, man. Okay, if we swing this, um, I guess it'll also swing down here and knock the pill bottle over here, maybe? We close that. I don't know what happens. Yeah, so if we, if we close that, then that's our way over to the right. So let's swing this first. Oh, uh, okay, I guess never mind. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so we can raise these arms and knock this off, maybe? The hanging basket? Wow, you have to do that really quickly. Jesus. Huh. To save the minister, I have to get him his medicine. But as things are, there just isn't enough time. Such unparalleled cowardice this man has. Before I get the medicine to him, I think I have to buy some time first. So would that be with the water, maybe? Yeah, that's probably with the water then. Yeah, but, um... Oh, it's good that the uh, game starts me over here. It starts me later on in the sequence, too, which is good. The water is our way to do that, but... I, I need to figure out a way to get back over to the right after I've somehow given his, him his water. Also, a reminder to hydrate. Now that uh, water has been brought up. I feel like this flag is useless, but we can just try it out. If anything, uh... This one might give us a hint that we missed our chance there or something. Actually, let's try the pitcher. Does that... Will that bring us anywhere good, maybe?
Oh shit, did the flag work? Oh, the flag worked. Oh my gosh. I didn't even expect that. I thought the flag was in the foreground there, not the background. There we go. So that's time bot for sure. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh. He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his... I, I think you're thinking into this a bit too much, Mr. Am... Mr. Justice Minister with Amnesia. Okay... At least now I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Looks like a lot of time too, nice. But how do we get back over there? I don't know. The minister's fate has changed, but the situation still seems the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water, huh? Okay. Okay, so I did miss something there. So we need to hit that flag, and then tip the pitcher over, and then do what? I don't know. Was there something up here that I missed? From the beginning, he said, huh? Okay, uh, huh. Is it gonna be like looking for the tiny man in Cave Story? Is it gonna be that small? Because he knocked the medicine over already, right? And we can't stop that from happening. There's the medicine gone. Start flapping this over here, and let me keep an eye out for something that could get me over to the right there. Hmm. I mean, we can't we can't flap the flag at the beginning because that that won't last until he's that won't last the time between his outburst and when he tries to reach for the water. So I can't just flap this and hang over, just hopping over to the medicine. Unless that spin move was something, it might have been. Oh, we can- okay, okay, we can go up here now. Gotcha. So what would that help us do, though? The fan. At least we're somewhere new, so that's a, that's a... That's a development. It's amazing how well this runs on a completely legit DS. Yeah, it's- it's quite marvelous. For a, uh, completely legit DS, yes. Yep. The graphics, man. The graphics. So now that we're up here, uh, we can spin this, and, uh, conveniently, uh, let loose a piece of paper, of course, which will probably, yep, win this over here. So now we have plenty of time to do this whole debacle we have to figure out here. Okay, time for the next step. Now, about this medicine bottle. If the minister's gonna make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. But, how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? And no mouth, too. I guess I'll just have to use my head instead, but you don't have a head either, so... I, I guess your... your conscious... conscience... is the way to go here, Sissel? Okay. So we know if we swing this, it does nothing. 
So we do a little salute there. Everyone in chat salute with the statue there. Uh, so if we turn this, I think the, f I guess the melon there will drop the other way, which might be useful. Actually, wait, 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 hold on. So that, that drops, okay, yeah, that drops there and extends the length of the sword. So that means we can knock the mess in over to the right now, probably. Oh, fuck, the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Hmm, that was so close. If the swing just had a little more reach to it, I think I better look for something else. Um... Huh. What's this do? Okay, so that drops that. Probably to create a ramp of some sort. And we can't reach this curtain, unfortunately, right? Ooh, okay. So rocking this, rocking the boat here again won't do much anymore. Hey, Metalhead, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. So I probably bones this already. I can actually reach the curtain if I do this, right? So yeah, let's, in the meantime, let's see what's over to the right here. Okay, so the globe, is that globe bigger than the melon? Let's take a look here. I don't know what's the point of this top part though. Can I drop this? Okay, that falls. Interesting. It's a pretty right. It's a pretty light frame for its size. There's sure a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man, huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about fallen man, but you talk like him, like he's your fall guy. I guess the key is in what order the object had dropped in, huh? I, I still feel like we have to make a ramp with this with that picture frame there or this, the sword holder thing So if we turn this the globe probably drops the airway Oh fuck, okay Okay, so okay, so that drops shit. Well, I could have used that hint, but that globe dropped to the left and knocked that over, huh? Huh, interesting. And it spins over to the... It spins counterclockwise there. Now let me see if I can I can sort of decipher a plan here based on these variables. What am I, playing into the breach or something? Jeez. So we either have to get the globe over here on this sword to knock this over to the left or get the medicine bottle over to the right here and then make a ramp and knock it onto his desk again. Those are possibilities, which we'll is to have to test our hypotheses, I guess. Some people in chat have an idea. Alrighty. I did. Fuck. I wasn't fucking paying attention, goddammit. I did want to mention that I hit a stream record for um, engagement last night, so I want to thank everyone for, you know, your support and such. Got a long way to partner, but we can do it. Okay, yep. <laughs> Sh 
Stream engagement is an analytics term, guys. Come on. No one's getting married. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I feel like my plan has, has an... Uh, my plan may have fallen apart here. I just realized something. I got you, Antox. I got you. No, I don't have a waifu, okay, Nick? Come on. <laughs> and it would not be Nep, alright? That's not my choice here. That would not be my choice. Hey, Babonk, how you doing? Oh, yeah, it's this level. Yep, yep. Yeah, this level, based on my, uh... Based on my 10 minutes of playing this area of the level, I, I can see why it's, uh, a bit dreaded, to be honest. Huh, okay. So I want to see what happens if we knock this, uh, this melon the other way. Okay, so that knocks that vase over. Interesting. That looks really loud. That earns a lot heavier than it looks. Huh. Heavy, huh? So seesaw, perhaps? It's made of pretty thick iron. I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot. But I don't have feet, so I guess I don't have to worry. So it looks like we have to, um... Huh. It looks like we have to drop this, but we have to drop this down here first, which goes to the center, and then drop this here. Drop the frame onto this uh, lighter vase, and head back over and drop this heavier one over to like launch the seesaw, I guess. So that'll launch whatever it's on this side. But we still need to get this bottle over to the right here, if that's the case. But how do we do that though? I don't know. You can't do anything with the melon anymore. I know we're gonna have to reset, but I still want to try a few things. Actually, I feel like we have to use one of these uh, swords as like a... As a thing to hit the medicine with, right? So this falls... Oh, shit. This falls backwards. So... I'll fall on that sword, and if we swing this... It... Yeah, it definitely reaches the floor. That's good. Hmm, that looks really good. If only the medicine bottle was under that swing, I'm gonna go flying, but to the wrong side of the room. I think I'm starting to form a plan here. Huh. So, I guess we need to get the globe over to the left, probably. So, yeah, I'll drop and make that ramp there. So. Can we spin the globe anymore? No, we can't. Okay, so that's one more variable add to the equation. The uh, whole sea salt thing, or the ramp thing here. So let us uh, head back to the beginning. Well, after the fate change here, and see what's up. How's everyone's days, by the way? Hope it was a good day.
Not good, but Bonk, well, I hope tomorrow's better for you. I will send comfy vibes. And that has pizza now, though? Good. Is it, uh, is it the chicken and pineapple? Your usual? And that's tired. Kyo just killed a, um, Devil Joe in Monster Hunter World. Pretty good for Manic. Still sick, Photon. Feel better soon. Alrighty. Um, so I, I do want to announce that I might have a, um, I'm going to be testing something later on the stream, probably near the end. Um, Nightbot has a giveaway system, and if, yeah, you, you guys might want to hang around for that. If you guys want a, uh, a pretty chill game. A game in honor of the snow day here, perhaps. Okay, um, shit. So this, this melon, yeah, I have to save this melon for this bottle here. This melon. Oh yeah, people do have to go to sleep then, yeah. I might do it earlier then, yeah. I, I might do the giveaway earlier. Maybe after uh, I complete this puzzle. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so I think we have to head over to the right first. How about that? Well, let's let's unhinge this. Uh, let's unhinge this side of the frame first. Hmm. Hmm. Miscellaneous NPC grunting and thinking noises. Okay, so you will, um... Yeah, let, let's turn this and, uh, get you to fall. To the left here. What's my kink? Uh, what? Hey, Gubs, how you doing? <laughs> you know, for for a second, I was actually thinking about naming the, t naming the stream that, but I, I resisted at the last moment. But yeah, you are the center, so that's good. And I think we could, we can turn this globe to like um we can turn the globe stand again to knock it off this globe. First of all, let's unhinge this. So there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. I think I got it here. So there's nothing. There's no weights on this. So if we turn this, the excuse me. Can you, like, turn... Can you, like, turn to the front so, like, you can knock the thing off? Shit. Well, uh, fuck. Um, that's not good. It doesn't pass through. It, it like, go... It, it, like, swings through the background. That's the issue here. So just like, just turn it the right way, god damn it. Oh, the globe has a roll. How the fuck was I? Okay, yeah. The ghost tricks in this game are a bit inconsistent, so yeah. Cause like, I, I could roll the globe, but I couldn't do anything to melon once it was on the table there, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so we have to um, we have to turn you, I think. <laughs> yeah, that physics. Yeah, maybe like, maybe the globe landed on like the the little the area, the flat base of it that would go into the uh, the globe stand. I think that's a reasonable explanation for it. Oh fuck! Shit! No patience, game. Patience. I totally was not dilly-dallying around for like 10 seconds at the start here. Oh fuck yes. 
That was a that was a that was a very perfectly um convenient arc that the globe made there, but we'll use it in our favor. Oh, slow mo. My medicine. Ah. And uh, oh, well I get. <laughs> that's that's not healthy, but I guess that works. Yeah, at, at least for now he'll be fine. Gubby, you, you guess that's just how this game rolls? Nice. Nice one. Time to- well, time to overdose. Yep, <laughs> that, that is a lot of pills. I think maybe he took even too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules of water. Why doesn't he know that? Well, I, I, I guess, um, I guess he knows how the medicine works still. Ah, uh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? Uh. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad he's got his energy back, at least. Whew, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him the lesson. Ah. Uh. He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope you learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyways, let's go back to the world of the, ple of the, the pleasant. Yes, the present. Yep, he's as distraught as ever, definitely. <laughs> Save him from an overdose in like 10 minutes. Yeah, that's that's the next chapter. Yep. He's gonna be the new Lin, perhaps. The 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 war the world of, of the the pleasant? Oh well. And so the Justice Minister is now back to life. I should have an image for like, oh whoa moments. I can use that snowman. Let me bring it back up. Yeah, here we go. This is gonna be massive, so bear with me for a second here. If you guys didn't see, this is my, uh, my, my, oh, my ubu snowman that I made outside. Part of it at least. This is the, uh, the pebbles. Let me, let me like stick that. Let me stick that over here. How about that? Okay. Well, uh, move you down a bit. And uh, change our opacity. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a, now we've got an uwu to bless everyone in chat. So, yeah, just just look in that corner if you need some uwuing. And apparently, our lady detective is in present call is the present cause of those furrows. Yeah. So, so now that the minister is alive, Layden's got a whole lot of talking to do here. Mr. Roost, Miss Rooster Head here. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Look, uh, detective. Uh, he was sentenced after a fair trial, and the the man himself wanted to be executed. But there was no evidence. All they had was his own confession. But it was a, it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back. I told you I don't want. Anyone coming near me? <sighs> Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. Uh, oh, what? What? So, please, please, just, just give me a little more time. Uh, 
I just got a call from the the prison. Your your death throw convict apparently just es escaped. Eh? Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to uh, dodge his punishment. But but when he's apprehended, uh, his sentence will be carried out tonight. No. Oh. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. Huh? So, why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I, I, I totally wasn't blackmailed. Yes, I, I totally was not, because... Yes. I, I was simply performing my duty as a justice minister. Yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, Lynn, you want you want to talk a bit here? Lynn looks like she's about to ju she's just about to rip into the justice minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little uh, signal. So I guess we could swing the thing. Sissel, there you are. It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. <laughs> I, I love how you just had to do that and, and now everyone you save knows that you're there. Like, it could be just like any other damn ghost who has the ghost trick powers, but no. Sissel. That's right! He is! Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? It's also funny how she like she isn't even phased by this type of stuff anymore, cause, cause, for one, she's died about three times, and uh, she isn't traumatized at all for some reason. So I, I guess it's all fun and games to her at this point. I told Elaine what I had learned about the kidnapping. K kidnapping? They kidnapped the justice minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. But still. There's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you just go ahead and stay out to the justice minister then? Mm, the poor man. I hate to do that to him. Especially after he ate like fucking... After he fucking ate like 10,000 pills right when I was outside the door. Did we ever find out what was the deal with the blue dude and the blue lady? We have no idea what's going on with like any of the blue dudes. Like the blue man group and such. I'll, I'll call it on the blue man group. How about that? But yeah, we, we, we don't know what's going on with them and I hope we get answers too. Like there's the there's like the old dude and the buff blue dude that's in that room. That posh room sort of giving out the orders here. There's the assassins and then those, that woman and I guess her quarter or something, I don't know. Oh, very interesting. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Like, like I, I need a better win-loss ratio, ratio here. So uh, just, just help me out a bit here with win. All right, sure. Not very uh, handy, is it? Having no legs? Lin is now. Oh, oh. I mean, Lin would probably need a bit more trained to be a good, a good squire or a knight. But now she's just like, <laughs> she's just like threatening the justice minister with like a sword with a globe on it. That's that's not as very. <laughs> a guard might get nervous. A man approaches with his a, a, a woman approaches with her weapon drawn. What, what are you going to do with that globe? Uh, crack me in the head with it? Oh, this, uh... Eh, and pay, pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and... Uh, pre please pardon me if this is a silly question. Were you 
talking to somebody just now. Nah, it's just your beds, man. Don't, don't worry about it. But, uh, of course not, right? I mean, there, there's no such thing as, as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Ah! No, there's no such thing. This is this is a dream. There's, this is it's nothing but a dream. So don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me. Yeah, I, of course. Um, Sizzle is talking to the justice minister right now because once you save someone, you can talk to them and they can talk to you. In ghost, like when you're in ghost form, even. So we're just messing with the justice minister's head now, which is gonna be fun. What's up, ADX? Why does she have a sort of a globe? Uh, long story. We saved the Justice Minister and we had to, like, stick a globe onto a sword. So, now Lin's carrying it because I'm in the sword now. And what's up, what's up, Hungry Spy? This is Ghost Trick. Sort of visual novel-esque puzzle game. My dream is talking to me! Huh, so now I'm a dream, huh? M Mr. Minister? We know. We know everything about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? Uh! And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Uh! Uh oh. Your medicine! Medicine! Well, thankfully he didn't die again. <laughs> he just took another 10,000 pills. That, that, he'll, he'll be fine. Oh. Uh, what am I gonna do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he's an executed tonight, my daughter, my Emily, but what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Yeah! Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? Yeah! Huh. So what could we do here? We're in full negotiation mode here, huh? Yeah, don't give another heart attack. Come on. We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping. In the only way I know how. Let's talk to the man. Or we could call, you know, we could go over to the area. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream, exactly? <laughs> it looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. Okay, so he's not a lead. Uh, what do you got, Lin? Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the demand is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. It's just like the minister said, there's no need for such a kidnapping. <laughs> yeah, you were doing that with that yourself when you were dead, man. Come on. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no, there's, there's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Not in the existence of ghosts. Not in this escape from prison and not in this kidnap, but... I don't think it's realism, but okay. This uh, realist is running away from several very real facts. At high speed, too. Anyways, let me... Try and figure out more about this kidnapping. Quack, quack. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. 
Ah, that's right. You have your telephone number. I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. Okay. So we know what they look like. They're the, they're the blue people. So what is dial over? So we are going to... YMT2369. 69? Nice. Nice. Oh yeah, I was gonna... Um, yeah. Give me a second here. So now that the chapter's ended, let's uh... I gotta boost something here. So... If you're leaving, don't leave just yet because I do want to test something out. Excuse the lag for a second. I really should pay the cannabis hideout on a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. Chrome. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. Ooh, character development? Huh? Alright. So. I'm right now giving away a. I'm opening a giveaway to. Um, a giveaway for a copy of City Skylines plus the Snowfall expansion. Ha, ah, Snowfall, because it snowed here. And if you want to enter, just type the word giveaway in chat, and you'll be entered to win. And I'll have this open for some amount of time. I think this is enabled, right? Hold on. So just type the word giveaway and you'll be entered into the, uh, the raffle here. Again, the raffle is for City Skylines plus the Snowfall DLC. There's no confirmation if you entered. Um, it, I have it. I'm having it tracked here in the user list, so I know if everyone's uh, entered or not. Alright, so I'll give you guys 30 more seconds to keep going. Let me finish this plot here. Actually, not the plot, we're gonna have to save. Okay, so chapter 11. I don't know how many chapters are in this game, but we have crossed over midnight. The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the, the death row prisoner Jode to be carried out tonight. Okay. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about this abduction. Alrighty. Well, I'll be closing the giveaway in five seconds here. Plus stream delay. Alrighty, and let's roll here. And Keo has won the City Skylines giveaway. Congratulations. Did you even enter? Yeah, I think you did. Wait, did you enter? Yeah, you did enter, okay. Yeah. For some reason, like what for some reason when I did that, it uh it marked you ineligible. I guess for uh I guess for future winners or something. So yeah, Keo, congrats on winning um City Skylines plus Snowfall. I will Write this down, and I will send you a message on Discord after the stream with your key. Alrighty, let's keep going with the stream here.
Your instinct was right, Beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. Yeah, so this man and like the and Beauty, as he's referring to her, were in the kitchen, the chicken kitchen, way back when, just plotting something. And they had a big suitcase of stuff too, which was a bit suspicious. It took me forever to shake them, and now oh, my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. And good night, Andox. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, this is the suitcase that they had over there. So, I guess we'll finally be able to see what's in it. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch! That hurts, beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. So is this going to trigger the death trap again? Interesting. <laughs> Be a bit more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? There. See that, beauty? That is a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. Them heels. I'm going out for a breath, a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. Alright, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. Alright. Alright, little lady, let me open that trunk for you. Wow. <laughs> you fall asleep fast, don't you? My dude. It was the Justice Minister's daughter really hasn't kidnapped, but and something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've been to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. I've been in this place before. Higher on the street! Okay, I'll stop. And what's up, Limit? How you doing? You ever get that feeling I'm deja vu? Taking something precious to manipulate others, so that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, uh, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Yeah, the thing. The suitcase. Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing. Before the guy wakes up from his dream of, uh, beauty. Yeah, so this looks really similar to that, uh, room that had that Rube Goldberg machine thing. Thing. My precious. Yes. So this will burn and I'll do something here. Okay. Okay, so that, that created a bit of a path here for us. Uh, giving us a little star. Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. <laughs> okay, um, so let's swing this. SWING! Okay, so you'll get caught in the fan probably, yeah, there we go. And we can make you spin faster and break the entire thing, of course. Oh, so I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that tennis ball. We're gonna have to get over there. Uh, we actually are gonna have to use that door to break something. I think.
Bonk out the curb again? Nice. Kirby. Corby. This shelf is suspended by very thin cords. They look like they're about to break. I bet it'd be quite a spectacle if it fell. If something can break, it kind of makes me want to break it. Okay. Well, don't get ahead of yourself, Sissel. Okay, this scunts. Uh, price tips over, right? Okay. This is one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? I guess if we light that uh that third candle on the right there, we can burn this and have it drop. Yep. Okay, so we can get down here, luckily. Uh darn. I can't reach my destination from here. Okay. But yeah, we knew that, I think. So, let's get over to that tennis ball again and see if we can hit it over or something. Pop, pop, pop. Bam, come on. Thank you. Thanks for the lift. So doing that Tracer impression, uh, doing that Tracer impression a moment ago kind of reminded me about um, the impending Redder Ready Player One movie that's coming out next week. There's a lot of references in it, but please do not go just to see your favorite reference because if anything, it's just going to be on screen for like less than five seconds, you know? Just, just don't go just for the references, please. Just go if you think you'll have a good time with the overall plot. Thank you. That, that is my that is my message of the day. But yeah, there's like there's like this wiki that I've been sharing around. If you've been in my various discords, there's like a wiki where people have been like submitting what supposedly is in the movie. Like, I know a few days ago someone put that like Sans was in the final battle from Undertale. And I'm like, uh, I don't think so, dude. There's little things like people from like the f the Fairly Odd Parents, and uh, I think I saw Doki Doki Literature Club in that wiki page too. <laughs> it's yeah, it, it's a jape, yeah. It, it's obviously a jape, Malang. It's just hilarious. I, I guess let people have their fun, you know. But uh, it, it's pretty amusing. To say the least. Okay, so the ball's over here now. I can't believe Ready Player One is a, is is. I can't believe Ready Player One's rosters um is better than Smash 4's. You saw Uganda Knuckles limit? Oh my gosh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Photon, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> that that game, that fan game. That fan game slash shit post is a is a marvel to see. Um, can we get over here? Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably just gonna like rent it on Redbox or something, so, you know, the, the people don't really get any money from it. Because I, I am interested to see what's in there, but I don't really want to, you know, see it in theaters, particularly. And I, don't, I only want to see it once, too. It's not like gonna be like an instant classic for me or anything. Limit was ready to get pissed about a, mar a Marf cameo for no particular reason, yeah. Yeah, Mar Marf, I think. What was on that list? It was Marth, um. Marth, Korn, and Lucina? Or Roy or something? I forgot. Supposedly are in the movie, according to that fake list. That was good shit. Okay, so the ball's over here. Uh, yeah, so we can get over here now and spin the balance tray. Or we could pop the uh, party popper. That'll wake him up. 
Oh, it actually hang. What's that? What's that hung on there? What was that? <laughs> Just my imagination. That's all he has to say. If he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. Look at that streamer go spinning round and round. What? You mean me? As far as I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not spinning. I'm a streamer, right? Now, how can I make use of that? Okay, so we can obviously hang on to it. Oh, no, we can't actually. So... We can pop the party popper again for some reason. But I think we want to spin this balance toy up. Spin, spin. Because I did jack all and wasted about 5 seconds of my time. Yes, live it. I am spinning. Yes, technically. Centripetal. Is it centripetal motion? Or centrifugal mo motion or something. I forgot. I, I completely forgot physics at this point. Oh, okay, interesting. So if we pop it, we pop this one, and it like it, it sort of like creates a line here of sorts. Okay, just my imagination. What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? So I think we gotta burn something, right? We gotta burn like this wire. Okay. Huh? What was that? Where'd you come from? Okay, so yeah, if we spin it up, the wire actually moves up with it. Okay, I see where this is going. Speaking of Skyrim, I have been playing a bit of that uh, in the mornings and in the evenings. Just lying down in bed. I haven't gotten any. I haven't gotten any like weird ass glitches, unfortunately. But I am having a good time with it. It's a very chill game. Right now, I'm like I'm like the lizard, the lizard orchid. I'm playing as a lizard Orgonian race, uh, focusing on stealth archery and alteration as well as pickpocketing because. I want to like go down the pickpocket tree and see how broken shit can get with that, because supposedly it can get pretty broken. Like I, I know you can steal the clothes off people that, like you can steal clothes off people who are wearing those clothes, which gets pretty ridiculous. Huh. So, mm, we gotta burn the string somehow, I think. Give me that hint against this all. Or not, okay, cool. Actually, can we swing this? Yeah, we can. Ah, balls. Hold on. Hold on. You might do cat next manic? Yeah, I was thinking about Kaji too. Because they are good at stealth as well. But the, uh, the regen... The regen ability on the Argonians is very nice. Okay, um, I can do one more thing here. Or not. Um, hmm. Oh, fuck, come on, reach. Reach, damn it. Oh, we have to spin faster, that's right. Yeah, that's probably what we have to do. Noom! It go noom. Oh shit, it's super fast. Oh. There we go. Okay, so now we can burn this brighter and I'll probably hit the, uh... Yeah, I'll catch down on fire. Oh, it's like a comet now, Jesus. So now that's on fire and, uh, that thing has fallen off. So that's a new source of, uh, life for now.
What's the, um, what's the, what's the cat, what ability does the cat have? The, um, that active ability thing, sort of thing. Do they have one at all? It's night vision, right? Actually. Yeah, they have night vision, gotcha. And they have claws, yeah, 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 I gotcha. There we go. Thank you, chat. It might have lost the Argonian maid. I actually haven't read that at all. And maybe I should, just for like lore purposes, obviously. Okay, so that's our new core, it looks like. How are, you, how are you not noticing this around your... How do you not notice anything in this room, man? How? Why you do? Alright, what's up with this trunk here? Oh, uh, oh, what the fuck? Um, that's not the, that's not the minister's daughter. That is... That's Camila, that's, that's Lin's friend. And she's surprisingly comfortable in that position, so I guess that's okay. What in the... What's going on here? This little lady is... Yep, back to this chapter. Is this little lady really the daughter of the justice minister? Well, no, right? Because I, I thought it was the other girl. Just my imagination. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't notice this at all, man. You don't notice it at all. You don't even notice your beauty? What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I want to treat our guests well. How about treating me well? I like some bread and milk, please. Yeah. At your service, my dear. Be black in a flash. Back in a flash. Hey, Mister. Huh? Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps. All I have to do is ask. H have I been k kidnapped? Huh? Yeah. Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house! Huh? This house is... Where are you still li- Ooh! Where are you still live? Huh. Interesting. What? Uh, uh, huh, huh, huh. I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why cure this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh. Oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What's about my bread and milk? I almost said silk. Oh, of course. So... I mean, this is all her old house, but what's the significance of that, I wonder? Now, you be a good girl while I'm gone. Yes? Yes? You just read your book and drink your juice. I wanna go home. Not quite yet. So, they, they said they kept they kidnapped the justice minister's daughter, but this obviously isn't her. Did they have a mix-up or something else going on here? Some sort of like, some sort of ruse. A jape. This dilapidated place was Camille's old house? What's going on here? Okay. We can talk to Camilla, because I think we... Wait, what? 
Wait, why, why can we talk to Camila? We didn't save her at any point. Um... Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. And it also means somebody else must have saved her. Ha! Huh. Yeah, there there are definitely other people happening here. There's other there's other people who have uh, this whole ghost trick business going on. I better ask her what happened. Yeah, what's going on here? Who's there? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Is, is that you, missile? Missile. I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Missile Sissel. Missile Sissel. Sissel? M my name is Camila. Camila. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing is. I can hardly tell the poor little thing is the land of the dead. <laughs> they can read your thoughts, Sissel. Come on. Come on. The, the land of the dead? Does, does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. R really? I don't remember. Wait a minute, maybe I do remember. Uh, sort of? You do? Looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Huh, so there's some other dead person out there of special powers, huh? Please, yeah, don't, 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 don't scare the little girl, please. Anyways, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, yeah. Uh, 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 um. Old sissy. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Sissy Wissy? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, we only said... I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, huh? What am I gonna do? Lynn's gonna be mad. Is she? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the uh, music box. Yeah. So she was bringing a music box to Lynn, and we know that the music box... I know, um... Detective Jode, before we spart... Jode, before we split, we part ways, want us to get the music box in you know, have Lynn open it for us or something. There's definitely some deep lore in that box, for sure. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little luck of cur and courage. Guess where it was? Ah, I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know. You don't have to humor me. Oops. God damn it, Sissel. So, what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. What did you notice about the name of the park? Huh? Just before. Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So, the music box is in the park? I better let Lynn go. No. This is your old house? Yeah, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know? She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Huh? Is he the justice minister? Uh, 
My my father is gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away. No, that's not it. My my dad. He's going to die, and it's all because of me. What? What do you mean because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way. You don't. Don't tell me your father's detective, Jode. That's right. Oh man. What the fuck, man? Oh, my gosh. This plot just like. We just got like a hundred thousand connections between the different <laughs> cores in this plot. Jesus. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like, a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago. Five years ago. That murder case. Alrighty. So the murder, huh? It was my mom's birthday that day. My mom and my dad were working, and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was gonna surprise my mom. I set up that- Oh no. Oh no. I set up that contraption. So we're paralleling Lin's death earlier here. But I'm sure she tested it, right? Jesus. Christ. She, she must have tested it, right? There's Jode. I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Huh, I know that contraption. I didn't know how it's supposed to work. Party poppers in the cake? A birthday message? My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. Oh boy, so I guess he's covering, huh? My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said I saw what, was, what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. Ah, this is so unbelievably tragic. Oh man, yeah. Wow, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Something's not right. Like, there's no way she could... There's no way she didn't test it. Like... And why was the gun loaded? Like, wh why would you keep a go loaded gun in the frame? It doesn't make sense. I literally have my glasses off because it just... I'm just thinking. Something's wrong here. This little lady is Detective Joad's daughter? I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kid- <laughs> Why was I kidnapped? I want to know! Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. <laughs> <coughs> Damn it. Stop thinking, Sissel, you dingus. Took the words right out of me, chat. That, that's exactly what I was going to say. Maybe we should better stop talking. It's too dangerous. S Sissy? You're not gonna talk to me anymore? I think we better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. O okay, but... I'm gonna rescue now you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, sissy. Alrighty. 
So things just took a turn for the fucking worse here. But now we gotta figure out how to get her out of here, I think. Are we gonna kill both of these people or something? What you so long? Yeah, what what a nice talk we had there, huh? What what a nice fucking talk. I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Nap nap. Huh, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work all for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. Whatever. Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Does she sense Sissel? Maybe? Does she? Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know? The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. Ooh, so I guess she wasn't lying there, huh? Huh. You know, she's just like extremely paranoid, you know? Who knows? All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. And there she goes, back in there. We got a book, though. That's something. All of a sudden, I've been left alone. Alone in that room that stole that lady, that little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lin know about all this? One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. The song of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do those kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Huh. That's something to think about, huh? But something we're gonna have to investigate next time, because I'm done with the stream for tonight. So yeah, those are two pretty short chapters, but uh, we'll be keeping going. We're gonna, we're gonna keep on going next stream, which will happen at some point, I think. So let me give you guys a rundown of what the schedule is for the rest of the week. Um, Tomorrow is going to be... Tomorrow evening is going to be... The dreaded Cave Story Plus Hell Run. That I'm sure a lot of you have been looking forward to since yesterday. That That's going to happen, yeah. And if that's short, I might actually switch to this game afterwards. So we might have a double feature tomorrow. Um, Let me see if I have a schedule right here. Uh, let me let me pull up this reminder for myself because I my brain seems to be in another world. The plot got too dark; it distracted me. Let's see here. All right, so yeah, Friday, day after tomorrow. Um, there might be an afternoon stream. It'll probably be like nep nep if I do stream. And Friday evening is going to be something interesting. It's something I haven't tried before. It'll be. Some speedrun practice of Mega Man X4. I'm gonna be playing Mega Man X4. I'll have the timers and splits set up on the side, and yeah, I'll be doing a speedrun of it. You know, with my tactics as I've learned them throughout the years. As you guys might may know, Mega Man X4 was one of the first games I played, so I'm excited to get into the uh, speedrunning community of that at least. And yeah, so that'll be Friday, and on Saturday. Saturday will be interesting. Um, I played a bit of Puyo Puyo yesterday, and what I'm going to do on Saturday is I'll go online, 
I'll play people in free play, just people around the world. But if you have the PC version of Puyo Puyo Tetris and you want to challenge me, I will send out an open call for challenges um, on Twitter at some point either today or tomorrow. I'll have some way to sign up for those or something. Maybe you'll just like put your name down in the doc or something and I'll get in touch with you or something. But yeah, on Saturday we'll be playing, we'll be playing uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris and I'll be playing people from the chat maybe. Otherwise I'll be playing people online. So that'll be fun as well. But yeah, that's gonna that's my schedule for right now. And thank you guys for coming. Uh good stream tonight, of course. And the streams are always made better with you folks hanging around. Uh let me see who is live right now though. Let's see if I can bring you to over over to someone equally or more fantastic than me. Uh, Manic, I'm. If if Saturday's stream goes well of Puyo Puyo, I may do more of them with like switching between the uh, Switch and the PC version. I I just want to do Saturdays as like a little testing the waters test sort of thing. All right. Um. So you guys heard of C you guys heard of uh, Sea of Thieves? It just came out. I'm gonna send you guys over to Little Bun because she is playing Sea of Thieves with uh, her brother, uh, Jump Drive. I think you guys, if you guys have hung, hung around the community enough, you know that Little Bun's a regular in chat, and she supports the stream as well through uh, this a lot of things. So let me go raid her. Uh, Yar, we'll, we'll raid her ship. How about that? We'll, we'll, we'll raid the bun ship with the uh, the duck ship. How about that? That's that's what I'm gonna call it. But yeah, um, hope you guys had a good time tonight. I'll see you in the next coming days for more streams. And yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs>